All right, I was going to review this um, thing because I didn't see anybody uh, review it. It's called the Nyko Skill Shop. But first thing I want to tell you, do not buy, no matter how, no matter how much you need a, a, um, a tripod. Yeah, no matter how much you need a tripod, if it says Targus on it, do not buy it because it is a flaming piece of shit. It, I've bought three... So you see I'm actually holding up three fingers. You don't think I'm doing this. <laughs> I bought three Targus tripods, and they are garbage. They fall apart in two seconds. I've actually had one fall apart in three days. This one I've had for like a week. It fell apart in a week. It, it, like the, um, the part where you screw the camera into, that fell apart. That fell off. I lost it. I don't know where the hell it went to. The other one, the foot, there's one foot fell off the bottom in three days. And then I have this other one, which is one of those ones you twist and turn around things. And that thing is, like, it's impossible practically to get the camera off the friggin' tripod because you have to pull on the camera and twist it off. So, yeah, do not purchase anything made by Targus. Fuck just tripods. Don't purchase their crap. It's made out of garbage. Unfortunately, it's the only thing I can purchase locally here. Or I'd buy something else. I'd probably go on the internet and get a real fucking tripod because Targus is garbage. Anyways, after that. So we're going to talk about the Nyko Skill Shot. Uh, this is a uh, peripheral for the PlayStation Move, which it basically allows you to stick your PlayStation Move controller in here and your uh, navigation controller in here. And that is supposed to let you play uh, first-person shooters a little easier and make you feel like you're holding a gun or something, even if it's bright orange. <laughs> so here, I'm going to go over some of the features with you. Um, basically, there's a little button here so you can yank this thing back like that and forward. Uh, it helps you keep the gun kind of still if you, you know, put it under your shoulder or whatever. There's also a sight. I really never use the sight. Let me try to get down the sight there in the camera view. Yeah, I never really use that sight except for it's really good for, um, that, um, it's really good <laughs> for, uh, you know, getting your controller all sunk up or whatever the hell you freaking call it. Um, and then there's this piece actually comes off if you don't want to use it. Uh, there's a lock here. And you basically unlock it, and you can pull it right off this way, I think, and break it. And then there's also, with this, there's this thing right here. And uh, if you lift it, it'll allow you to pivot this, and it just lets you get at the controls better. Um, let me show you how this goes in here. And uh, so basically you pop this thing right like that. You pop the move controller in, like that. Then you slide this, you know, put that over like that, and snap it closed. Then um, you have the navigation controller here, as long as you have one. And then you pop it in this way. And I got some wacky neighbors who like to yell upstairs, and they're always angry. But that goes in like that. Um, so basically you can hold it like this, and the problem I've had with this is that this has once fallen out, and you kind of have to keep it in tight. Um, it likes to fall out, or want to, wants to fall out. So it's not, it doesn't have anything to strap it in or anything like the, uh, the, I'm looking at it right now, the sharpshooter, which I have right here, there's a thing that you can strap it in. I'll show you the, the box at least for the sharpshooter and there's I'll show you what that does and it's a little bit more expensive but not much. There's buttons they have remapped to here so it basically goes into a USB the uh, controller goes into this USB thing and then basically remaps the buttons so they're easier to reach and um, you know it has some interesting you know like you get the PlayStation Move button here um, and, you know, it's, I definitely prefer this. <laughs> um, so then, okay, so back to this. This doesn't have, this doesn't remap any buttons or anything like that. There's no, nothing like that. No, it's just basically a casing that you stick your move in and the 
um, navigation controller. So that's that. And then, so let's see, what else? Oh, this uh, trigger, basically, when you pull the trigger, it's a little too resistant and takes forever because it's pulling this um, little kind of thing to, you know, to pull this uh, trigger thing. All right, well, let me show you. I'll take the move controller out because apparently I can't speak. But it's doing, see this, it's doing that so that it can pull on this and it gives you a lot of resistance and for long-term gameplay it can be a pain in the butt um, whereas like something like the sharpshooter that actually is a button that is remapped to uh, the actual gun itself so it's not it's not touching anything on the move controller it's just you know it's an extra button almost and uh, yeah, so this is a little rough trying to pull. I've actually had uh, my skin kind of wear out a bit when playing this, especially if you're using single shot guns. Automatics aren't so bad, but single shot guns are a little rough. Um, I played this with Killzone 3, and, um, you know, Killzone 3 allows you to do things so, you know, because you have to reach for the bullets and it's a pain in the ass. They have this uh, feature where you can kind of shake the gun like that to reload and then thrust forward to melee. Um, that doesn't really work very well because your gun ends up doing this weird stuff where you're doing this because your gun still moves. But he'll start reloading but while the gun's up in the air or something or whatever. So that's not... It doesn't work well with that. So it's really... I can't say this is good for first-person shooters even though it's supposed to be for that. It's not the best. Um, so I can't at all recommend this for first person shooters. In fact, I don't recommend this at all because if you get this, the, um, sharp shooter, is it? Yeah. The sharp shooter is actually only 20 bucks. This was like 12 when I got it. That's not that much of a difference that, um, I could recommend getting it. Um, so yeah, this this it's not the greatest, and even if you're poor, you should probably just wait a little bit and go for the, the you know wait till you get like a few a couple more bucks and get the uh, uh, sharpshooter because this isn't so much cheaper that it's like you know that the sharpshooter is going to set you over the edge you know, <laughs> but yeah. So other than that, I mean. That's all I can really say about this. I, again, do not recommend getting this. I can't say much great for it. It does not work well for first-person shooters. And basically, that would be my review, is basically forget about the skill shot and get the sharpshooter. It is like 20 bucks at GameStop. So there you go. It's a lot easier to use. I'm not even the biggest fan of uh, motion controls with first person shooters but they can be fun for a few times every now and then but this is definitely not the way to go it is cheap knockoff garbage